So how long have you been here? 478 years. This bit of timber would have been cut and fixed by one of my family from 13 generations previous. And the man was stood there, he got hold of his tie and he went and he cut his tie off and he said, there you are, I told you never to come in my shop again. This is our family tree here and to be honest, I know precious little about them. But it would be really nice to know more. And I said, John, if it weren't for that old dragon, you would not be here. house is that 59.3 this house is the first house that our family built if you think these were put up you know 425 years ago these bits of timber and they're still there and it's a bit wonky but it would have been built wonky a lot of the timbers came from a lot of the uh, galleons and where you've got the holes for dowels and stuff is because it came off a, an English warship we may well have worked on loads of buildings around this area that I don't know about. I don't know enough. We've done work at Buckingham Palace, where I think we did the Queen's Tea Room and Chartwell, Churchill's home, which is nice. Doesn't say thank you. <laughs> and I've brought the children up and goodness knows what. Is coming out of the, the bad times of the, the Second World War and trying to pick up and get the business going again. And you couldn't build a house. You just couldn't because there weren't the materials. You've got to remember that this country at that stage was almost bankrupt. They hadn't got the materials. They hadn't got anything much. So you were limited, really, to mending a, a hole in the roof if somebody had been bombed, you know, and this, this is what you just had to try and do. When a middle-aged lady now comes in, we also served their mother before them and their parents before them. That comes only with my ration book. <laughs> <laughs> this is my sister Jane. She was a Miss Bridport, yeah, in her day. It's the quality of the meat that makes us look so good, yeah. It, my father used to say, if you eat a pound of steak a day, you don't age. When you think at Christmas, they killed everything, geese and all. And we used to get beautiful rabbits brought in. They were about this big. That's when Jane went down and had a fit. I said oh, to I was her, only a little girl then. Yeah, I said, oh, you good then? I said, there's some beautiful rabbits down there. Of course, she went in and they were killing them. Dad taught me how to decorate a pig's head at Christmas. Yeah, yeah we used to go around with the lard and the butter and the apple and the cherries. And we don't do that anymore, because obviously... It's no, because that upsets Not everybody people upsets now. people. <laughs> This is 1880. This is when we moved into this shop. The meat went up to London on the train in the basket. I would like to have worked in those times when uh, there weren't so many rules and regulations and you could just get on and do what you wanted to do. If you look at that bit of meat there, that, that's been hung for three weeks and the colour of that is sort of getting towards black and that is how it should be and you know, but they go in a supermarket and it's all bright pink and red. A lot of people are only used to buying it on a tray wrapped up in cling film. I come in in, in it's a very hard time, but winning work is very tricky. Hi, Alex Dirtnell. Hi, Alex, how are you? Some of our competitors have gone broke in the last three to five years, and they've been over 200 years old. There's a bit of pressure, I suppose, to not be the one that um, lets it all go wrong on his watch. I 
think he's got the ability, and, and, but of course he hasn't got the years of experience that his parents had. I'm very pleased that Dad sits across the road, not all the time because Alexander wouldn't want him, and I think he's quite sure he can do it all by himself. Typical. I've spent 40 years working with my dad in this shop every day of my life. There's not many people who have been lucky enough to have a relationship like I've had with my father where you've got on and, and uh, you know, you see him all that time. It's just like they're here, really. Blood, guts, they slaughtered in the street from the traffic Down lights up to... Up to the far side of the town hall. Were you a fan of history at school? Loved it. Gave it up as soon as I could. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of pressure on uh, continuing it. Who could take over the shop in the future? I don't know. I, I wouldn't like to think about that one. Thank you.